Oh. I gotta do that. I gotta do that on the inside. I just got a whole new idea. Oh no, this ain't, this is not, <laughs> this is not what I, what I expected. How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Dogagi. Now you guys really like this game and I really wanted to play it again. So we're back out and we're going to be making some more pottery today. Now in the original episode we did the workshop mode which is basically do whatever the hell you want. But there is actually a career mode in this and we are going to do the Korea chapter. This is a Korean pottery game. Uh, and I guess pottery is huge there. I didn't even know. I guess that I, I don't know if that's bad or not. Uh, but obviously, with a game like this, uh, you would expect it to be very popular. And here we are, back in the studio. Okay, someone's calling me. Hello? Juan Beck. Um, take call. Yeah, we're gonna take that call. Hello? That's all I can really do in this game is make pottery, dude. Alright, so it looks like we have to deliver pottery worth at least 30 pottery points. Oh, I like this. I got a dude in my cell phone telling me what to do. I got my pottering wheel. Uh, obviously, we don't have all the cool stuff before, but I didn't have this before. A small hand-operated banding wheel normally used for painting. Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, so we got a, a wheel for painting. All right, well, all we got to do is make a simple one, so let's start it up and uh, get back into making some more pottery in this game. I'm going to go, what do I want to make? I want to make just like a generic vase. I want to see if I can actually do something and uh, stick with it. So we're just going to go for a generic vase this time because we need to get that curvature. Now, I don't have the tool that's going to help me form this, I don't think. Do I actually, what, what is this thing? I can't even tell what that is. I Does it say? Alt, Ute plus tools. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a paintbrush. I think all I have is paintbrushes. There we go. There we go. So yeah, we're going for a vase. So it needs to have a little bit of a thin bottom. Let's see if we can somehow do that. Well, I gotta say, for trying to make a vase, I made a damn good bowl. Um, <laughs> I can't. I can't. Every time I do this, it shrinks. So I'm getting used to that. But I, I, how do I? The only way I can bring it up, I think... This is just going to round it a little bit, but the only way to bring it up is to... Nope, get the hand in there. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just made it way smaller. Oh my god, where's all my clay going? Go higher! I just keep going shorter and shorter. Oh no! No! Come on! I didn't want to do that! Where did all my clay go? I am so bad at this. Okay, so I've learned that the, the starting is extremely important with this, so we want to obviously heighten this by quite a bit. So, I'm not going to go for a very big vase. I'm just trying to get the height right now. Need to water our hands. Let's keep going here nice and slow. Want to get all these wrinkles or whatever the term is out. And then after that, we can do the fine details. I think this is a pretty good height. There we go. Round the top a little bit. Let's go a little bit higher, I think. Okay, now this is the hard part. It's always doing this move. It gets really confusing, but I want to obviously expand this out. There we go. There. I mean, it's not exactly what I wanted, but at least we're getting somewhere. Can I go deeper? I want to go way deeper. That's the thing, but I can't seem to get my hand any further than this. So, I mean, again, it's not very vase-like, but I need the tools to actually get in there, and I can't get my hand deep enough in. Maybe I can keep playing around in this. No, that's as far as it goes, and it doesn't let me go any deeper than that, because I wanted to expand out this part right here, so it's obviously more round, but I can't seem to do that easily. There's got to be a way. Well, it's kind of like a vase pot. It's definitely better than the first try. Let's try and smooth this out. Get this back down. There we go. Oh, got it. It's going to be so hard to get any, any little error out. Problem is, you need to know the pressure, and it's very hard to tell the difference. You know what? That's, that's a pretty damn good vase. And it's actually pretty deep, as you can see. It's not all the way down to the bottom like a vase should be. But that's pretty damn good. I don't even think I'm going to cut it. I think I'm going to keep everything just like that. Let's just... I would like to expand out the ring a little bit. I don't know the best way to do this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, nothing too crazy. Because now it's getting kind of weird looking. See if we can just bring it up. 
I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah! All right, we're gonna finish throwing and dry the pottery, yes. We're gonna get this off for right now. We'll use that later. That That's gonna be good for certain types of painting. But for right now, I think we're just gonna start painting. Okay, so now we can paint. Can I put this in the middle though? All right, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do wanna get a bottom white coat of paint. And then we'll put some details in the top. Oh, I love it. It is so fun painting in this game. All right, now at the bottom, I think I want a color fade all the way from red to maybe yellow. Maybe I'll even keep the white at the top. So we're going to start off with red and see if we can actually do this. So let's just go for it. I kind of did something like this before, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then a little bit of yellow up top. Blend it in with the orange. Kind of looks like a candy corn, and then we'll kind of blend it in with the white at the top. That's good. I like that. I, it, it doesn't make sense, I mean, being right down here and dark in the middle, but I like it. All right, and on the inside, we're just going to paint it black because it's quite bright on the outside, so we'll just fill this in. And I think that's good. I think we'll call it a day. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... Oh, my God! It's so hard to uh, type in this, or I guess write in this. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I, that might be one of my favorite ones I've made in this game. Okay, so we're done with that. Stop painting and start firing. We're going to go for gloss. And deciding as pottery firing, the price will be determined. Yep, let's see how much this thing's worth. Bottle, 99%. Tried to make a vase. This is a bottle, I guess. How much did we get? 133. We only needed 30 PPs, so we got 133 PPs. That's good enough for me. We will deliver that. Uh, would you like to deliver this pottery? Yep, there we go. Ah! I feel, I feel like I actually have a business right now! This is great! And it's gone. Yay! First sold pottery! Oh, a contest? I got an invitation angled cup! Oh man, you can't make me do actual specific things. I, I can just make things pretty. I don't actually know how to make these things. Look at this. How do I... I guess we just... We don't actually have to read it. Okay. Oh my god. Um, I actually... Oh god, I have to... I'm gonna have to... This is why this is here! Oh, dude, this is too much. Alright, so I know it needs to be a bit smaller and a bit taller, so we're gonna start by flattening this just ever so slightly. And I just want to get the dimensions right first, so don't want to screw this thing up. So there we go. We can shave off. We have we have excess anyways. So this is why I bought this tool. It's going to help for those fine, minute changes. So I got it at 84. We need it at 87. I mean, it's a little wide. We're going to shorten it a little bit more, but we need the height. 98. Okay, there we go. Bottom's pretty good. Nice and flat. Try and get this top nice and flat. Oh yes, there we go. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna try this. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, there we go. This is why I bought you. Um, it sucks that I can't flip it around. It's not letting me. And I'm not gonna be able to do it by hand, I don't think. Can I even do it while it's off? I, I can't actually even do it while it's off the wheel, so. I thought there was a way to I know I flipped it before. All right, yeah, well, it's already got the lip, so I'm not too bothered. I was hoping to add more width on the sides, though, because I'm probably going to get dinged for that. It's not perfect, but honestly, I'm, I'm impressed. So I don't know if we're supposed to paint it or not, so we're going to finish throwing. Does it tell me finish wheel throwing and dry the pottery? Yes. Let's go for grading, I guess. Oh, it actually shows you. Okay. Well, it's a lot more off than I expected, but I love that. That's... I mean, I was pretty close with the width of the sides. The bottom, I could have dug out more. It's hard to tell in, in virtual reality, though, how deep you are. Um, I got a success. 79, that's almost an A. And yeah, the sides, as you can see, I wanted to width out those. And I guess I should have measured the top a little bit because I could have shaved that off for some extra points. But honestly, the biggest mistake was not going deep enough. Uh, so now we know. All right. What, 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 did, what did I get for that? Oh, we, we, we can actually do more if we want to, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with this one. Can I... Oh, I wonder if I could... Re, can I... Wait, can I do more? Hold on. Do, do we actually get graded and we can do more? Because if that's the case, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go for grading again. 90.4! Look at that, though! That's what I wanted to fix was the top. 
and it is the perfect height now. Still, the bottom's a... We could go a little bit deeper, man. It doesn't look like we can, but we can. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll submit it. Let's see how we did. 363 PPs. Um, best score, 38. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Relax, game! I don't, I don't even know how I did. But, I think I needed 300 PPs, and I got 380, so... Job well done to us. What's up, dude? It is tough. I want to see a picture. Wait, where? Um... Oh. Okay, I just got a new message. That's a lot better than mine. That is a lot better than mine, but... This is so weird. I'm just talking to some Korean guy on my phone. He's telling me what to do. What, what, what are we supposed to do now? I'll send you a pottery. Oh, hell yeah. I, I like when I can do whatever I want. Deliver pottery worth at least 50 pottery points. I mean... Alright, let's just go crazy here. I, I, I'm a new artist. I'm gonna show my designs this time. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm liking this. Um, tool for trimming. We're gonna trim off this little guy here, because I didn't want that. It just didn't go away. Oh yeah, there we go. This tool is working good. Alright, we're gonna get rid of all these ugly lines, too. Yeah, this is actually... That's some smooth lines there, if I've ever seen smooth lines before. Let's try and even out this. There we go. I don't want that so thick, so we're gonna flatten that off a little bit. There we go. Round it all the way down. I gotta say, I'm impressed with myself with this one. Okay, now we're gonna go into dangerous territories, because I'm gonna try and maybe hollow this out a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna go well. I always get a clay nipple. I don't want the clay nipple! Go away! It's looking more than just a nipple now, Jesus Christ. It won't go- just go away! How do I get rid of the middle point? Just screw off! Alright, before I break something, I think I'm just gonna stop. We're just going to widen the mouth of the access point a little bit. Hope I don't run out of clay. It's hard to tell. So far, I haven't cracked it open, so we're doing okay. Before I run out of clay, let's just stop and appreciate it. I mean, that's- I, I don't know why I like this so much, but that is damn pretty in, in, in my eyes. Alright, let's see if we can kind of do a flower design on the middle here. I <laughs> just gotta get rid of this thing. <laughs> or just paint it, but... I've wanted to do a flower design, so we're gonna go all the way to here with yellow. And then I've done this before. If we speed up the brush, we can kind of make like... Yeah, something like that. Actually, I really like that. And then if we go a little bit higher... A little bit lower... Bam. Slow down. Let me see what it looks like stopped. A little bit uglier. Let's keep going. So we're going hard white till there, and then just kind of around the top, we'll just try and add a little bit more. Oh man, I, I think I ruined it. I mean, it's not awful. It's not kind of what I wanted though, but on the outside, we, we can still save the outside. Okay, there we go. We at least made it somewhat decent. I mean, I don't really like the color combination now, but I've gone too far to change it now. So, can I flip this one? Are you going to let me flip this? Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. Why, why was it so hard with the last one? Alright, we're just gonna do a black bottom. Just so I can put my name on it. And there we go. Actually, now I, I just want to play with it and try some different designs. Oh! I gotta do that. I gotta do that on the inside. I just got a whole new idea. So what we're gonna do... I don't even have that green anymore. I don't think this is the same green. It is not. So I think we're gonna do black on the inside now. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Let's try that again. Alright, so this is on... Let's do some yellow. And we're just gonna try and do... Let's slow this down a bit. Oh no, this ain't... This is not... <laughs> this is not what I... What I expected. That's not bad up top. The bottom, not so much. I mean... I really want to redo that, but I'm gonna have to repaint the whole thing. So let's just try and fix the top a bit. So I'm gonna go... Just, I just want to get the whole top yellowed, so... I mean, that's kind of cool! The lines aren't as good as I wanted them to be! I dig it. I dig it, though. Oh, crap! That's right! I stopped painting! Ah, uh, well, I guess we don't get to sign this one. Then again, I'm not too happy about it, so... We're gonna fire this. Again, we're gonna go for gloss, just because gloss looks so much better than matte. We, we, we made a jar! It thinks it's a jar. I don't know how you see a jar in this game, but okay. I mean, it's not so bad when it's when it's glossed. It doesn't look as bad anymore. 
I don't like it too much, but we're gonna deliver it and see what they think. Here you go. Confirm. 458 PPs. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. We we've got a box over there. I don't know where that box came from. Uh, hello. I got your. Oh wait. Uh, wow. Thank you very much. It was really helpful. May I send your contact information to the customer? It will also be helpful to you. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know how to respond. All right. So I think we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. Oh god damn it. Again, this is like real life. We already did that. And I think this is a good time to wrap up this one. I did want to show you guys the career mode because a career mode in a pottery game sounds pretty weird, but it's actually really well done. And I do like the contest feature with the blueprints where you actually have to try and mimic it. That is really fun. And yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, maybe we'll do some more. Regardless, I hope you guys had a good time checking out Dogagi once again. If you want to know anything more about this game, link me in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.